Right, hello there, this is Rhea um, for Maisie Moo Design and I am working on the newly released uh, Bunny Pixie Bag. Now I decided to make a video on this because you've got quite a few options. I decided to, um, instead of it just being one, one option, I've got a few there. So if you've purchased their file, you'll know that you've got two different ways you can wear the ears. So you can wear them up. Or you can wear them down so just to give you an idea I've put some pre-cut holes in here and these are for the ears going down because they're I've set them wider apart for you and the ones with the ears going up are a little bit closer together so what you've got here is there we go if you can kind of see it the ears going down the ones that are set further apart are going to have the ears in the middle and they're going to be facing up. What I've also done is I've given you two options for eyes. So you've got a nice sort of closed sleepy eye and two of those. There we go. And I've also got an open eye which has got a little eyeball. And as with anything to do with eyes, I might have to cut that one out, but that's okay, you can get the idea. It all depends on the positioning of them as to how cute your bunny's going to be. So you can see from that, you can do a wee bit with the face. And if you choose to put whiskers and things, you can, but I'm not providing those because it all gets a little bit too fiddly. Um, I've also got some wee feet. And I've included liners for the feet. So if you want to, you can pop liner behind let's have a look we'll take these out so if you're going to go with the say for instance the bunny is going up I also have um, an insert for those so you can see I've cut out all different things here because I've been having a play just with colors there we go so I might go for this one right anyway that's just to give you an idea of what all the pieces are for so there's there are various options there. So once you've decided what you're going to make, you want to get on to making the body of your bag. Now, if you're familiar with pixie bags, this is exactly the same basic template. And I kept it that way because this has been quite successful for people who are making them and they stay together. And it's still a good size. It works out quite a cute size for kids. Okay, so you've got your wee side tab, which is going to go like that. And as I've said, you need to just test it, make sure that doesn't come through, which it doesn't. Okay, and I'm also going to trim it because what the idea is, is when it folds over, it sticks over as far as the hem, which you'll soon see. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bit of glue go I'm waiting for my new glue gun to arrive I'm looking forward to that now so that's going to be stuck in there so I'm going to put a dot of glue on the bottom and another one now you could even add a little bit of super glue too which I like to add just so it's doubly secure. Right, so you're going to have your bag with your two side tabs attached. Right, so it's quite a simple way to assemble a bag. You've got your little side flaps here, which is hard to, to fold and keep in place with the faux glitter. But the idea is, is that we're going to fold this up and simply glue onto those. So I will start with one side first. And, and you can see you use the top part there is how far you're going to go. So, okay. Once again, we're gonna use some hot glue. And I'm, I'm leaving the outer edge free because I'm going to run a line of my super glue down. There we go. 
I use my weeding tool for all sorts of things other than weeding. There we go, let me put that there. So you see you still got your flap there and this little bit. We'll close that in a minute. Now I'm going to do it to the other side. Bring that over. You might be able to hear the rain. On my roof because it's a bit of a rainy day here today. Here we go. Okay. All right. So you see, we've got our wee pocket. You've got your side tabs there that you're going to put your cord through later. Okay. Lastly, you want to fold this over. Oops. Nice big bit there. Now, I probably could have lined this one up better, but that's okay because the top flap's going to close it. Alright, so you've got the main body of your bag. There we go. Done. Okay, so you've made the body which is just your little pouch. Now we want to put the bunny's face on. So what I've done is I've cut out a white piece here, which has got the two furthest space slots. And that is for if you're going to have your ears down, or you might want them wide set and sticking up. It's up to you. Have a wee play with it before you glue it together just to see what you like the look of. But in this case, we're going to be doing it down. So. I've got just white ears, just like the bunny, and I've chosen to place my eyes, which I've just got more glue on better, but I've just placed there. Um, I think I'm going to need to do that with super glue because this fur is a nightmare to glue on, but I can do that a little bit later. Um, place them in position, however you think is sees fit and looks cute. So you can see I've got my little ears there. So the idea is you want to position them and then you want to pop a touch of glue underneath to hold them in place. Just you can go back just a tiny bit because you can always go back and put more on. It's hard to take it off. So we'll position those so they're sort of overlapping a little bit. Because remember this is going to be okay tucked behind. Right. So now I lined the back of my fur. I've got this really lovely fur that I've had for ages and it's really cute for, for animals but it's quite thin so I lined it and I just used some heat and bond just some heat and bond and some cotton fabric because I have heaps of cot cotton fabric in my stash so you want to glue under there so that sticks down same under there so it sticks down okay and then this is going to be the part at the back that you pop on when you're finished which if you're happy with your placement is now so you want to run a line of your glue at the back which I can do now yep you want it to be lined up whoops Okay, so this will stay down. Your face is going to stay down because I'm I'm going to use some um, Velcro. You could choose to use a heart snap. But there we go. So that's you've got your top flap there. Now it's just a matter of deciding what you want to use. If you want to pop your feet on, I'm thinking I might put some feet on here. Right, so you glue those down. And you may want to decorate it. So I'm also going to include a wee bow, just a simple bow shape. And you can do that in any colour. I might change that up. but And then you can simply 
glue that on as well so you, you could leave your ear flaps like I've done here so they're a bit loose or you could glue them right down okay so what I've done is I've glued on my feet my nose my eyes and the ears as you can see are in behind here and I'm going to run a, a bead of super glue or glue down there to tidy it up but you can see how lovely it looks beh from behind you can choose to if you want to put the flap inside I know some of you do but I think it's much cleaner to have have it this way now I would normally close this with velcro but unfortunately I've just found that the only velcro I've got left that the kids have been in here is my black so I will do that later so what I'll just do is I'll just close that down with a there we go, but attack. Okay, right, so I think you've got the idea. What you want to do is glue on your feet, your eyes and your nose. Your ears have gone through the slots there. Okay, and they are hidden behind with that being glued down. Now, there we go. So, lastly, what you want to do is put your strap on. So, I simply want to, not one end, pull your strap through, and then out the other side. So, and as I said earlier, I will include just a simple bow and pop that on the bag too. So, as I say, pretty straightforward. Same idea as just the normal pixie bag, but with this one we've got our ears down. I'll put one together with the ears up as well as an example for the listing. But really, it's quite straightforward and very, very cute. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, bye.